Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson from Johnson County Community College, and this short screencast will discuss white space, as in spaces, tabs, and line breaks in HTML and CSS. Now if you're in one of my classes, you can find the listing of all the YouTubes at my homepage, which the homepage for all students at JCCC is simply students, plural, dot jccc dot edu slash and then your username. This page is my index page so that all my YouTubes are readily available. In general, I recommend that you watch them in the order that they're listed, but I tried to make them generic enough so that you can bounce around and review things as needed. Today's screencast is on white space in the HTML code, and here's the page in development that I'm showing you here. What I want to show you here is how HTML treat white space. The white space, the spaces, the tabs, and the hits of the inner key, the line breaks that you see in your code, aren't necessarily what you see on your page. And let me just prove this to you by working with something really straightforward, the H2 tag, Johnson County Community College. As you see, I have one and only one space between those words. But if I sit on the space bar here and pad those words with spaces, save my page, and refresh it, there's no difference in the appearance of Johnson County Community College. And that's because multiple spaces and tabs and line breaks all collapse into one space. In fact, I'll prove this to you by putting tabs. I'm hitting the tab key here between my words. I'm deleting these spaces and I'm putting tabs in. I'm saving my page. I'm refreshing it. And again, nothing has happened. In fact, I could put multiple hits of the inner key between those words. Save, refresh, nothing happens. So again, multiple spaces, tabs, and hits of the inner key collapse to one space in the rendering of your web page. If you absolutely want to have multiple spaces between your words, then you need to use these escape characters. And that stands for non-breaking space. The escape characters escape off the keyboard and do something else other than what the keyboard key does. They always start with an ampersand and end with a semicolon. So this puts three non-breaking spaces between my web 110 HTML and CSS hyperlink and my web 114 JavaScript 1 hyperlink because I wanted a few more spaces here. I'll just copy those non-breaking spaces and paste them in again. So now I've got six non-breaking spaces between each of these hyperlinks. Save, refresh, and I've padded that space a little bit more. So even though the hyperlinks are on different lines, because a hyperlink is inline content, it shows up on the same line. We'll talk about that a lot more in subsequent screencasts. But the main thing I want you to know out of this is that multiple spaces, which by that I mean taps of the space bar, multiple tabs and multiple hits of the inner key all collapse to one space in your code, which means you can indent your code for readability for the developer without affecting the way it's going to render on the web page. I also want to talk a little bit about white space in your style sheet, in your CSS files. You want to code your style sheet in a way that makes it readable. My recommendation is to put the selector and the opening curly brace on one line, each declaration on its own line, and the closing curly brace for that selector on its own line. This just makes the syntax easier to read. It's very easy to forget a closing semicolon when you're writing your declarations. It's also very easy to change this colon after the property name to a semicolon. By putting every declaration on its own line, you'll clearly see the property name followed by the colon, followed by an optional space, followed by the value, followed by the semicolon. So all those pieces need to be present in each declaration. However, sometimes you'll see a style sheet where multiple declarations, even multiple selectors, might be on the same line in an effort to save space or save characters. This will work just as well as the previous style sheet, but by all means, for readability purposes, especially when you're learning this, put the declaration, each declaration on its own line. I even like to indent them. Put each selector on its own line with its opening curly brace and put each closing curly brace to close the selectors on its own line. This just makes the code enormously easier to read and debug and is really helpful when you're learning it. Thank you.